lockdown days gave me an idea to start the channel to help you all. Today I am starting 9th standard mathematics chapter 1 areas. First question to draw a rectangle of area 12 square centimeter. You all know the formula to find area of a rectangle as length into breadth. Area is equal to length into breadth. So to get 12 centimeter we can take the measures to be 12 into 1 or otherwise we can take half of it 6 double of 1 6 again let us take half of this 3 and double of 2 4 or otherwise we can even take half of this 3 which is equal to 1.5 and double of 4 which is equal to 8. So there are enough ways to draw a rectangle of area 12 square centimeter. When the length changes, breadth also changes. Now in this chapter, we talk about areas of triangles. Now look at the question. How to draw a triangle of area 12 square centimeter? So question is the same. Area remains the same. But instead of rectangle, we are talking about triangles. We know the formula for area of triangles as half bh where B stands for base and H stands for height or the altitude. So, half BH should be equal to 12 square centimeter. What does that mean? B into H is equal to 24 square centimeters. That is, this 2 is taken to the other side. So, BH is equal to 24 square centimeter. So, we can think of triangles having base multiplied by height is equal to 24. Let me give you one example. We can take the base as 3 centimeter and height as 8 centimeter which gives you 3 into 8. 24 square centimeter or otherwise let us take double of 3 which is equal to 6 half of 8 which is equal to 4 which is also equal to 24 square centimeter. Similarly we can find other numbers whose product is equal to 24. Here you can see 3 triangles of area 12 square centimeter. Hope it is clear to you. Half BH. Half into 3 into 8 gives you 12 square centimeter. Half into 6 into 4 also gives you 12 square centimeter. Half into 8 into 3 also gives you 12 square centimeter. But you can understand their shapes are all different. Now we are going to see the next idea. Now look at this figure. Triangle A, C, B. Base 8, height 3. Next triangle, triangle A, D, B. Same base, same height. Triangle A, E, B. Same base, same height. Now you can understand their third vertex C, D and D are on a line. I will show you. By joining it you understood C, D and E are on the same line. From this what did you understand? All triangles 
with the same base and area have their third vertex on a line parallel to the base. Is it clear? All triangles with the same base and area have their third vertex on a line parallel to the base. The other way of saying it, all triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. Is it clear? All triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. Using this idea, we are going to work out problems in your textbook. The first question. Draw a triangle of sides 4, 5 and 6 cm. Now draw an isosceles triangle with the same base and area. You know how to draw a triangle using the given measures. Take 6 cm as base. Draw two arcs for 4 and 5 cm. They meet at a point. Join it. Now use our idea. Triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. Through C draw a line parallel to AB. Now with AB as base we are going to draw the isosceles triangle for which draw the perpendicular bisector of AB. With A as center half more than AB as radius draw arcs above and below AB. With B as center same radius cut the previous arcs. Now join them you get the perpendicular bisector of AB. Now the perpendicular bisector meet the parallel line at a point. Let me name it as D. Now join DA and DB. DA and DB. Triangle A D B is an isosceles triangle. The idea we used here is triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. So, the area of triangle ACB and triangle ADB are equal. Second part of the same question. Sides are 4, 5 and 6. But here, isosceles triangle is drawn with base 5 cm. So, draw the triangle ABC of the given measurement. Now, we are going to draw an isosceles triangle with base 5. For us, base 5 is here. Now, draw a line parallel to this BC through A. I am drawing a parallel line through A. Draw the perpendicular bisect. Keep your compass at C. Take half more than BC. One arc above, one arc below. Keep it at B. 
1 north above, 1 north below. Or the perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector make this parallel line at this point. Let us name it as some P. Now join PB and PC. PBC is our required triangle. Here again, the idea we used is triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. Next question. Draw a circle and a triangle with one vertex at the center of the circle and the other two on the circle. I have drawn the figure. A circle and a triangle with one vertex at the center of the circle, two vertices on the circle. Now our question is, draw another triangle of the same area with all three vertices on the circle. We have to draw another triangle with all three vertices on the circle. So here again, we use the same idea, triangles with the same base and third vertex on a line parallel to the base have same area. So what I have to do, through O, draw a line parallel to AB. Now we got a point C over here. Now join A to C, also B to C. Now you can see these two triangles have same area. That is triangle AOB and triangle ACB have same area. 3 cm but the angle is 130 degree. Children, I am leaving this question for you as homework. You have to draw the figure in your notebook. I will explain how to draw. First of all, draw a line for 4 cm. Measure 50 degree using protractor. Join it. Cut an arc for 3 cm, you will get a triangle. In the same figure, you measure 130 degree at this vertex and complete the triangle. You will understand the third vertex will lie on a line parallel to the base. It is your homework question children. You have to try. If you are not getting the answer, I will clear it to you in the next class. Thank you.